Hey Learning Birds, this is Mr. Ozarka with another lesson brought to you by LearningBird.com. If you have any questions about the following video, you can email me at mrozarka at gmail.com. All right, here we go. All right, this tutorial is going to be a brief uh, overview of matter and energy. Basically, the whole universe is either matter or energy, so it's a great place to start for any science. All right, so what matter is basically is just anything that takes space. By definition, that's what it is. And it says right here, Earth is one mixture of molecules in gases, liquids, and solids because gases, liquids, and solids are the forms of matter that you could have. There's other ones as well, but for this class, we're mostly going to be focusing on those three. Examples of matter include you, me, basically everything that you could think of um, is matter. It can only take up one space at one time. It's an important property of matter. Uh, most people think you go actually through gases or you go through liquids. Actually, what you're doing is just m simply moving them out of the way. Matter cannot occupy the same space at the same time, so far as we know. Uh, and like we said before, there's uh, three states of matter, solid, liquid, gases. Sometimes it's called phases. Sometimes it's called states. So it really depends. Um, but it really means the same thing, So or, or forms for that matter. No, it's all the same thing. All right, what's not the matter? Um, you have this thing called energy, and energy is basically anything that causes change. So any any change that you can think of, whether something is moved, whether something heats up, uh, it changes temperature, if it changes um, its electrical charge, if it changes the nucleus of it, if it changes its uh, illumination, any of that would be considered change and would therefore be caused by energy because energy is anything that causes change. <clears throat> it comes in two forms. Um, one's kinetic and the other one is potential. Kinetic is um, energy that's related to an object's motion, where potential is related to the object's position or composition, what it's made up of. <clears throat> but for this class, we're not really going to focus on these two. We're going to simplify it a bit. <clears throat> and this is where we're going to use what's called, what I'm calling anyway, simplified forms of energy. And I'm just basically breaking down the simple energies that are around us. For example, motion, that would be a change in position. Chemical, that would be a change in the chemical bonds uh, of of a chemical. Heat, that would be the change in temperature. Electricity would be the change in the charge of it or the electrons. Nuclear would be the change in the nucleus of an atom. Sound, that's, that's basically changes in pressure. We're going to talk about that later and how pressure relates to sound. And light. Um, so those are going to be the, the simplified forms of energy that we're going to use and there's seven of them. So make sure you uh, learn all those. Energy can change forms. It's a really important property of, of energy. Matter can change forms as well. You can go from solid to liquid, liquid to gas, gas to liquid, and so forth. Um, but energy can change forms as well. So energy can change from one form to another, but it needs to have matter to do that. So if you want to go from um, electricity to light, like a light bulb would do, um, you have to put electricity into the light bulb and then it produces light. It's actually converting the electricity into light. Um, but you need the light bulb and that would be the matter. So you always need matter in order to change it. Um, electricity by itself isn't so helpful, but if we can convert it to something we can use, like light, that'd be pretty helpful. I have other examples here. Heating up a piece of metal produces light. Um, again, the matter that you would use is that piece of metal. It's what converts the heat to light. Another one is the motion of your hands together to produce sounds. So I'm just trying to say clapping basically there. You're moving your hands together and your hands would be the matter and they would produce the sound. And another important principle, the last thing we're going to talk about, where does all the energy on uh, Earth come from? It comes from the sun. And uh, we're going to talk more about that in class as you break down where certain things get their energy from. It all comes back to the sun. So uh, hopefully that helps a uh, brief overview of matter and energy. Let me know if you have any questions. If you thought this lesson helped you, please be sure to click This Was Helpful. For other great lessons, be sure to check out LearningBird.com.